We're ready to go. Packard to Tarakel. First ball of this T10 fixture. Full straight clattered four. What a nice shot that is from Hansi Dula Tarakel. It's a low full toss, but you've still got to put it away, and he does exactly that, the big man. Splice. Should be caught. Caught. So first spoil is going to Lathbury Lightning. Packard gets this one on a better length compared to the other deliveries, and it, it gets a little bit big on Tarakel, and it's a nice, safe catch. That short third man, and Julian Freon, is the man that takes the catch. And that'll be the first wicket in this match. At the end of the first over, it is eight for one. Good toss. This is into the gap. This will be four, I think it is. So this is the thing. If you get it slightly wrong, it comes a full toss. They're not always hit, but sometimes they are. Yeah, it's good length, but also a pretty good shot into the gap. This is four more. So Kaksar getting into his business now. Back-to-back -back boundaries. Wow, that one is missed. And the batter has gone up, up and away. Maximal. Kaksar almost shoots the lights out. He goes four, four, six. And finally, Beveren get moving. And at the end of the second over, it's 24 for one. Yeah, what a great finish to that over. Goes after this, and yeah, you cannot get it wrong, or can you? Well, maybe you can. Well, that's a, almost a concussion job for Louis Bruce. Nicely, Louis out there. And uh, well, he's the man with the long arms and the, the long body you'd want going after this, but the result's another boundary. Couple to come here in the third. Oh, edge and four. So it's a bit unlucky. You can't have them everywhere. Goes straight and gone. Wow, a bit of teamwork there. And it's quick heads up play from Man of Night to Louis Bruce. The youngsters combine. Oh, I'll tell you what, they wouldn't be able to bench press much either of those two, but they don't know how to team uh, for a boundary catch. And so Kaksa goes for 27. Big moment in this game. Pie with a breakthrough, 41 for two. Doesn't want to stick around. Oh, he's oh! What a bit of work. And Pie gets two in a row. Well, that one was an absolute speeding bullet. It was a laser beam straight at him. He was ready. Momon goes first ball. And the skipper on a hat trick. Lightning reflexes from the Lightning. 41 for three. Wow, wee. What a catch, Avanesh Pie. He smoked that. He really got it out the screws. And he holds on to it. That's a snare and a half. You can see the umpire's got a smile on his face because that was going to decapitate him. But Pie, well, quick as you like. And Beveren on the back foot, two into hat trick ball to come. Here is the hat trick delivery from the Lightning skipper. Oh, not a good one though. Respectfully played as well. Yeah. Anyway, this one's up, it's in the air, and just over Man of Nyak. Can't do anything about that. Maximo Rashid. So often the bystander in Beveren's batting innings today. Gets a little bit of length to work with. And he drills it down the ground for a Maximo. Into over six. And Nyak, this is skied in the air. Does it have the distance? It does. Maximo. Oh, Insana takes it on Sabazakil. He's carrying that shoulder injury. He's been trying to get it right. This time does get just enough. Goes after this. Magic hands. Sliced away towards the fielder. Can't get there. And it's going to be four. And then he gets a boundary. Counterattack coming from the Belgian. Oh, shot. He kind of fights the spin, but it spins straight onto his back. Oh, what a what catch. A, that's one of the all-time great cow catches, isn't it? As Norm Moman, well, he might have a smile on his face. After making a golden duck, he pulls down a hanger. That's a serious catch in the crowd. And, uh, oh, that gives him something to smile about. He's a, ooh. Ooh. Ooh, if, it, if a normal keeper there is taking the stumps, did he just jump in the air? Almost. There's Achilles in Zana. Does he ever get off the ground here? Whoa, oh, what's he boy. doing? Yeah, I would never leave contact with my crease. Oh, just take the bales off. Oh, I wasn't watching. That goes with it this time. Hanging in the air. It's a catching opportunity, and it's gone. Really nicely taking Ian Latin out there, the deep wicket boundary. It's been an awkward one because the infielder was coming towards him. But Zakiel, well, he almost got out in unusual fashion. This time it's just a miss hit, and Samir Nike breaks through. So Nike's been good in tandem throughout these middle overs. And that makes it 70 for five. I think 70 for four, Vin, and this one's an arm ball. And cramps him for room, and it's well caught. Let's go over number eight. 
gone. Well, everything they're doing is turning to gold, and it's Kness, Kenway Nesta in the circle at cover. And really, right now, the Lightning, they are looking like a team that have played a bit more cricket than their opponents. And Bruce, well, this one doesn't really do much. He's bowling late in the innings, not with the new ball, but that drive. Anywhere kind of around Nesta, one is in reach and is going to go for four. Instead, he pulls down the catch. It's a slight slower ball. Hang in there a long time, but I think this one's going to go the journey. It does. Maximo, Oppen's eye, off the mark. Yeah, he gets six runs. He actually swats that straight. And it was a slow ball outside off. Not the worst ball you'll ever see, but pretty good shot. And muscles this straight to the fielder and gone. Another catch for Manav Nayak. They have held their catches. They've created the chances. Oh, Nayak and Bruce. It's got quite a, an interesting symbiosis, don't they, at the moment. Codependency in this innings, but they've been great together. And a little pat on the head from Dad as well as we get to the end of the eighth over. 81 for six. No. Oh, no. It's a seven. I think it is. It's been called. And once again, we see... Bowler struggling with Lance. Samir just overcooks this one. On yeah. How many sevens have we seen? Yeah, it's roundabout waist tie. That's the kind of directive. And I think they call it and it's going to stay. That's a that's a momentum shifter. Yeah. Oh, he's gone. He's caught behind. There's a big edge and really clever bowling. He's been spearing them in. Then he throws one above the eye level. Ashikula Saeed took the took the bait and that's a very good catch behind the stumps from Rahul Daswani. It's actually one that you do have time as a keeper to react because it was so slow off the pitch and so Samir does his job and after nine overs 90 for seven. Get off and he's about here so everything working oh dear what's Kenroy Nesta wow. doing? What's he doing? Oh, now they're almost going to get an overthrow. Kenroy just a, a bit Oh, he just got too excited. He didn't need to move. Samir needed to call louder. Happy Kids organisation. This is a crazy little edge. It's an accidental reverse, reverse ramp. That one's going. How far? Out of the ground. Maximo. And Bruce goes the journey in the end. He did, well, I think Noman was the one that was dropped at the start of the over, and it cost right. them 10. It did. And anyway, I mean, when it's all said and done, 102 for seven, a little bit below par from Beveren, the Belgian champions. That free lightning. Wants one and will get one. Yeah, smart batting from Avinash by had a bit of width to deal with you there was no third man on the boundary so I was able to kind of slash at it well, there's the free hit bit of a top edge if you run hard you get two here should get two now on the drop it would have been out it's up by Bruce short top edge well, this is hanging a long time catching opportunity and taken brilliant catch Abdul Basir down from the third man boundary had a long time to think about it slightly slippery conditions as well but Tarakel gets his man the skipper goes for just seven and Lightning lose their first 14 for one oh gets littered Louis eats one now he has to run well that's why you wear a helmet guys Wow, I'm really glad he is wearing a helmet that hit him flush and you can see Tyrone Peters just making sure he's okay for the over. Shot. Absolutely blasted by Frowney through the offside. And maybe that's the shot that can get them going. Power play ends with a thud. Shot. Shot. Really good shot. One bounce four. And that's a bit of a stevia, isn't it, for Louis Bruce. He's been shaked, rattled and rolled, but gets the right of reply and he moves into double figures. And this is gone. What a catch. What a catch by Abdul Basir. Well, number two on his back, and that's the second time he's pulled off his stutter. Bruce gone as he climbs the ladder. Bevran back on 30 for two. Great catch, really good catch, and the bowler made the adjustment, banging it in back of a length. He likes to press forward, but that's all about the catch. Abdul Basir, his second screamer of this game. I'm loving it. What a catch. It's a ridiculous catch, really. 
And he's chopped on first ball. It's two in a row. Oppmann's eyes on a hat trick. Just came back a little bit towards Latin. He has to go without scoring. The game turns 30 for three. Really good bowling. Really good bowling. The one that was over pitch went over a cover for four. He's pegged his length back and he gets this to nip in. It only nips in maybe a couple of centimetres, but it's enough to draw an inside edge and the big fish has to go. Upman's night finds himself on a hat trick. The Lightning needs to find another hero. Oh, and then he goes on the hook. Oh, guess who? Oh, it's not. They've changed the fielder. And well, maybe they want to change him back because Safi can't get it. And it's going to be four. Oh, he's gone. There's a little edge on that. And so Marione's going to have to go. Can he? It was a hard ball to reach, wasn't it? But he must have just gotten a feather. And the Lightning lose the fourth wicket, 36 for four. Yeah, what a nice little catch that is. And a, a top over from this man on your screen. He's bowling with pace. He seems to have more control than the early game. And he picks himself up a wicket, a little feather. And he has to go. And well done to Jabakel. He looks like a real find. <laughs> Gets through the fielder. Oh, no. Two fielders. Wow, how has that happened? Packard gets four. Yeah, it's out. Yep. I thought for a second about a flick the top of the stumps and not knock the bales off, but a little inside edge, and so Packard's the next man to go. Ottman's eye has been great here. Three for nine. And the wheel's falling off this chase. 43 for five. Yeah, brilliant spell. Three for nine. The quicks are doing the damage. A little bit of West Indian flavour back in the 80s. Just bowl four or five quicks and and let it fly, it's good to watch. A loop, yep. and uh, Kanes goes large. That's actually one of the biggest we've seen today. It's gonna finish across the road, Maximo. Uh, I suppose it's pace off compared to what we've been seeing, and that one went a long, long way. There he is, he awakes the sleeping beast. He got every piece of that. Yeah. Nice one. Bit of an edge. Oh wow. He's gonna go for four, I mean that's the pace at work and add a bit of bat speed. Nesta doesn't get it where he wants it, but the result's okay. Four more to the Lightning. Last ball the over coming up. Full toss and dropped. Well, that would have been the hat trick for Basia, who's got himself all the way at cover now after his good performances, but that will be the end of the over. It does perhaps save the boundary. Eight overs down, 63 for five. Quite get it and tell you who does. Kenroy Nesta goes boom, Maximo. They've been so good at hitting that block hole. If you just miss at this level, you go. And Nesta, he's fighting on, but I think the mountain is a bit too steep right now. Cuck started to finish off. Hi. Well, I think this is the keeper's ball. He's going back and he takes the catch. That's smart keeping from Norm Oman. He's had a bit of a a rough time with some of the slow balls, but this is well handled as he runs back with the flight. So Kaksa gets his first wicket. Fighting innings from Kanes, wasn't it? He makes it to 24. But uh, the task was a little bit too difficult in the end. Two. Anyway, oh. this one's hit really well. Oh, it's going to bounce off the giant ball. Maximo. Well, there's nothing wrong with this one. Lower ball, goes for it again into a gap, and this will be another boundary. Opportunity. So four runs coming, and I suppose maybe you learn something here. His last ball, the match three, and it might be gone. It's skied, and well, he deserves a hat trick, but here, and he'll take one here. This is the easiest of the four chances that he got during the innings, but Samir will go for 11. That will do it. The Lightning are going to finish. 86 for 7.